The Sandy Gambayan's first division may decide in a few days on the petition for bail of detained Senator Bong Revilla. The Solon has been in detention for some five months now on plunder and graft charges in connection with a 10 billion peso pork barrel scam. Sweden Velado reports. Five months after Senator Ramon Bong Revilla Jr.'s detention in connection with the plunder charges filed against him for alleged participation in the 10 billion peso PDAF scam, the prosecution and defense panels have finally reached summation of their evidence for the court's resolution on the bail petition. It is surprising, however, when the defense included and considered the sworn statement of the prosecution's witness, Ben Hurlui, as one of their strong evidence. It is stated in Louis' sworn statement that there was never an incident when he personally handed money to Senator De Villa or his former staff, Richard Cambe, as kickback from the JLN Corporation, reportedly owned by Janet Lim Napolis. Even in their testimony for the court, talagang inamin nila. Hindi nila nakita, hindi nila alam uh, on, the, on their own personal knowledge na talagang tumanggap ng pera si Senator Bong Revilla. But the prosecution quickly replied, Talaga namang hindi personally si Ben Harloy ang nagbigay ng, ano, ng komisyon. Totoo naman yun. Pero hindi ibig sabihin, kung hindi personal si Ben Harloy ang nagbigay ng komisyon, hindi ibig sabihin niya wala nang tinanggap. Dahil merong AMLAC report, Naka, may mga cash deposit niya. Meanwhile, the prosecution remained cynical on the credibility of the first and last witness of the Villas camp, attorney Desiderio Pagi, a private handwriting expert who testified that signatures of Senator Bong in documents such as memorandum of agreement and endorsement letters were forged. Talagang unreliable, di ba? Hindi niya masabi kung anong klaseng uh, writing instrument ang ginamit. At kailangan pag nag-examine ka dyan, kahit sino naman ang expert na tanawin mo, alam mo kung anong ginamit na, hand, na, na, na pen doon sa question signature at sa standard signature. Despite this, the defense remains confident that Pagi's testimonies could strengthen their case and emphasize that they would respect the decision of the court. In an interview, Senator Bong shared that he is glad that the court accepted all their evidence and will pray for a positive result that is expected to be released by the court within 48 hours after the oral summation of evidence. So, tingin ko naman, eh, nakakabail tayo. Nakita natin sa takbo ng uh, hearing, uh, yung limang buwan, exactly five months ako today. Ito yung uh, fifth month ko sa uh, loob ng kulungan. Eh, at least, maka, yung magkaroon ng uh, oral summation today, yun, within 48 hours, hopefully, ma-resolve ma yung kaso kung mga kapag-fail na tayo o hindi. Moreover, the Sandigan Bayan 5th Division seeks extension from the Supreme Court because they believe 48 hours may not be enough to review and examine pieces of evidence of the case. For People's Television, this is Sweden Velado.